Education Minister Anthony Garcia believes non-accredited learning institutions will continue to have a high enrollment of students in the upcoming academic year. The former school principal told the media that those schools were operating quite fine before there was even a gate program. Ian Wayson reports. Existing students of institutions that are not accredited are concerned if they will be able to complete their tertiary education. Some are even wondering if the government assistance with tuition expenses program or GATE will still be available to them, even if the school may not be accredited but the program they are studying is. What would it mean for students in either case was put to the education minister Anthony Garcia. GATE will be offered only to accredited institutions. That being the case, the schools that are not accredited have fears that there will be a significant drop in intake come September. But Minister Garcia sees it differently. No, it is, it is still too early. Still too early. And I can't understand that concern about um, registration be, uh, on the decline because of GATE. To me, that GATE has nothing to do with that. Before GATE, there was access to education. And what the task force on GATE was able to show is that those persons who were accessing GATE were in the middle and high income levels. In other words, it was those persons who had the ability to pay. There are just 13 accredited schools, according to the website of the Accreditation Council of Trinidad and Tobago. Ian Wason, C News.